Welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm Lynn Horde, the Joy Coach, founder of the Joy Jam Collective, and I'm here today with the lovely Lara Waldman, the Abundance Activator. <laughs> We're just having a bit of a giggle because this is actually the first Be Live I've ever done. <laughs> so Lara has literally just come straight on in from horse riding and <laughs> had a shower and she's like, right, I've got to connect in. And uh, so we we're just having a bit of a giggle because, you know, the tech, we had to figure out the tech, right? So uh, how are you, my darling? I'm very well. I'm, I'm buzzing after my first ever horse riding lesson and uh, really happy to be here on our first ever interview live or whatever you call it. Be love, <laughs> be love my friend, be love. Be love. So, yeah, it's a good day. Fabulous. Uh, so we are here to talk about um, the idea of community. We're going to be talking about your experience of um, you know, some specific networking events that are uh, going on around uh, in London. Uh, and we're going to be talking about the Joy Jam Collective, uh, which is my new uh, and latest offering out into the world for specifically for women in business, so conscious women in business who are interested in more community. So that is a perfect place for us to kick off because one of the things you and I have talked a lot about is the idea of community. So I'd love to ask you, first of all, you know, why do you think that is so important for, for us or in, for the world in general, but us particularly as conscious women in business? Mm, well, there's so many reasons. And my own personal experience was I felt very alone in what I did. You know, I had no one to kind of connect in with or share with. And actually when we... When we're entrepreneurs and running around business and serving clients, a lot can go on. You know, there can be a lot of challenges as well, especially if you're trying to get online, it can be technical challenges. It can be quite stressful. You can have moments where you think, why the bleep am I doing this? And so what's when you have people to connect to who are like-minded, who are on a similar page and a similar level, it's an incredible support system, I would say, first and foremost, someone to share your journey with. And that gives you the, the confidence and the strength, the energy to keep going in challenging times. It can also really, really, well, for me, it's very inspiring to connect with other like-minded people. Um, the support on, on so many levels, on the mindset level, emotional level, but also on a business level, sharing, you know, supporting each other, helping each other, connecting, connecting, uh, you know, our clients with each other. It, there's, there are, the list could go on, but maybe I'll pause there for a moment. Yeah, that's great. You know, all those things. So community, connection, you said inspiration, um, you know, re referrals, the whole referrals, collaboration, you know, the whole lot. There's so much that, you know, it's been my experience as well, so much to like receive from being a part of uh, a tribe of, of women, like a community of women who are, as you say, like-minded souls. Um, and as I said, you and I have talked about this for a while. So was it a year ago that we were having this conversation about that there was a real need in London? Was that right? Is it a year ago? Well, it was probably around a year ago, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we've talked about this. So a year ago we talked about there being a real need in London for a place to gather for conscious women in business. There had been um, there had been uh, a networking group before, but it had closed and then it was, you know, it felt like there was mostly out there was, you know, come, you know, hand over your card and, you know, just let me tell you about my business rather than actual real connecting. Mm. Um, you know, we had that conversation. I'm pretty sure it was summer last year and I'd had the real, uh, I'd been doing some talks and through those talks all these women who I knew were coming and just like it was like a little party before I would have my talk. I'd have to like go, all right, ladies, sit down. I'm going to actually do my talk here. <laughs> and it was from from that happening several times, I kind of got the nudge. I was like, oh, there's something here. I feel like I need to go ahead and, and create uh, create somewhere that these women can all connect. So um, you know, out of that came the Joy Jam Sessions, the networking group. Uh, that I've been running in central London. And so you've been a speaker on that. And you've also, um, you know, you've also just been an attendee. You've just come to join the party. Um, so it'd be great to hear, like, what uh, what was your experience of that? Like, how did they feel to you? Mm. Well, one, very joyful. <laughs> it was nice to be in a room of 
high vibe women. And for me, that's, you know, people who are generally, you know, positive and excited about life and wanting to do cool, awesome things in the world, make a difference. Um, but it was also really, uh, it wasn't pushy around business. So that's what it was really nice and refreshing that we're all there, obviously running our businesses and doing our thing. But actually, we were actually just connecting, communicating, sharing, talking about, you know, what support you're looking for and asking for that support. And then other women going, OK, how can I help you with that? And it was a really refreshing new approach, I felt. Um, so it didn't have that same kind of pushy, maybe slightly desperate energy uh, that I I have felt in the past. Not not everywhere, but yeah, it was just very refreshing. It just was quite like there quite a lot of giggles and really amazing new connections made as well. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you for that because you've pretty much uh, shared all of the intention behind. <laughs> why I gathered them. Uh, so, you know, it was great. You know, the idea was it was purely around connecting. So women connecting in a fun way, in a non-pushy way, um, in a way where we could actually have those meaningful, nourishing conversations that as women we love to have, quite frankly. Um, and I've been blessed. Like, I mean, you know, you and I have been business buddies for a few years now and you and a handful of other women have been, you know, made such a difference to my journey. You know, we meet uh, semi-regularly and we get to, you know, chat about life and the universe and, and business. And, and you know, for us as conscious uh, women, it's all interrelated, isn't it? So it's so wonderful to be able to have conversations like that where someone's on the same page. Absolutely. And Yeah. So, I mean, um, so that was one of the reasons. And so that's kind of the intention behind us gathering for those things. It's like, well, let's just connect properly. Absolutely. It's kind of like soul food, isn't it? I find those anytime I, you know, connect with you or other women like you, other conscious entrepreneurs and people doing awesome things in the world, I always feel as uplifted, boosted, and realigned to my heart, to my soul, to my purpose, kind of, you know, it's fresh energy. And yeah. that's how you get to feel after all of these, you know, after the Joy Jam and you know, when we connect and it's it's I think it's essential. I think it's essential. Yeah. I definitely agree, and that's a great phrase. Is is actually it's that staying aligned, putting you back in alignment, or kind of as you say, re 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 uh, re reinvigorating, refiring. Okay, the words are not they're mixed up there, but you know what I mean. It's that it makes the spark flare again inside you, like yes, you know, it's great. Um, so as you know, and we you know I've talked about this you with you as well. So. The Joy Jam sessions was like basically a divine nudge for me to create last year. And then pretty quickly afterwards, although I didn't share it for quite some time, I actually did get the, um, the second nudge to go, let's make this into a, into a really uh, connected community. Um, so what's evolved out of those is actually the Joy Jam Collective, which is, as I mentioned, is you know, something I launched yesterday. And it is around creating like a membership community. Uh, and I'm super excited because, again, it's for conscious women in business. Um, so all of the same idea but just more. So more inspiration, more connection, more collaboration, more community, more fun. I am the joy coach, so you know <laughs> that the collective is going to have a fun element in there because that's how I roll. Ah, <laughs> oh, goodness. So um, what I'd love to ask is, so you're going to be a member and you're also going to be a guest speaker in the Joy Jam Collective. So what I'd love to ask is, like, why are you, what's it make, what are you excited about the idea of being a part of the community? You know, do you know what, why I love this, why I'm really excited to join is actually for all the new connections I'm going to make and the new friends I'm going to make mm -hmm. and all the kind of unknown, exciting elements that that brings. I love fresh energy. I love new adventures. I love stepping into the unknown sometimes, uh, depending what it is. And actually, I just suddenly just have this feeling of fresh new energy, new exciting opportunities, all the kind of, what I know is when women come together, magic happens. And we don't necessarily know what that magic is going to look like. Mm -hmm. But if they're the right people, like of the right vibration, so to speak, high vibe people, and you're on a level with, awesome things can happen. So I'm very excited about all the things I don't yet know that will be coming. 
Yeah, oh, that's a beautiful way. Of, that's a beautiful way of putting it, actually. And there's lots of wonder in there, which is one of my favourite words. Like there's wonder and excitement and anticipation in that. So I love it. Um, and for me, it's this. You know, it's similar. Like I can feel. You know, we've already got women joining, and I. Um, you know, many of them have already been at the Joy Jam sessions, and you know, every time I see them go, yes, I'm in. I'm like, I'm so excited because. Uh, it's about deepening those those connections, those friendships, those relationships because, I mean, that just makes me feel so nourished and uplifted at the end of every Joy Jam, whether I arrive with low energy or not, at the end I'm buzzing. I'm like, oh, all of these amazing women in the same room on the same page as me and, you know, we have all kinds of chats. I know someone came and talked about aliens, someone talked about their relationship, you know, somebody else actually did talk about business, you know, we do talk about that as well. <laughs> It was, it was like, look, you know, you, you show up as you are on the day and you are supported wherever you are at. So that's one of the things I love about the women who've been gathering because I know however I show up, you know, there's acceptance. And, oh, God, it's a beautiful, it is such a beautiful thing. Like I can feel it in my heart. It's like, oh, it's so nice. Um, yes, yeah, so the, the collective. So um, another question around that is, and you, probably, you may have answered this already, but what do you feel makes kind of makes this different? So the the kind of the feel, the vibe that I'm creating. What do you feel makes that different to what you've um, experienced out there before? It's mm, a good question. Well, obviously your joy vibe is really awesome, and we've talked about this, haven't we? The magic again, or the creative energy that comes when we're in a place of joy, when we're in that high vibe place. Mm-hmm. That's what I found that that's when everything flows. So I feel like there's something about that, you know. And we've talked about this, haven't we? That it's like it's almost like we don't allow ourselves to work from joy because it's almost like it's not allowed. Business, work, life, how we make money has to be very serious. Mm-hmm. And actually, I feel like this is bringing in a new, a fresh energy or a fresh approach around creating, around success, around like being an entrepreneur. And for me, that is very exciting. Um, and also that thing is come as you are. And there's something incredibly powerful about that. I think sometimes when we're showing up in our business, we think we have to be presenting a particular side of us or like being professional which is obviously important to be professional but actually there's times where I've turned up your joy jam feeling like I don't know what's going on I'm going through a huge change and actually just but but just being in the space just showing up and being yourself wherever you are allows again for that magic to happen for change to happen for transformation to happen and and I think that's another a new energy with 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 this collective um, we're not asking women to be perfect or like, you know, presenting kind of a false front. And I like that. It feels more authentic. Yes. And we've, uh, God, that's been such a topic in conversation. I can't tell you how many um, chats I've had about that thing. You know, there's a real urge, desire, you know, within our community, but also just in general for like being more real and like allowing ourselves to be more real. Um, and also talking about the impact that has when we we actually allow ourselves to be real, it allows somebody else to be real as well. Like I think that's probably one of the things I've got the most from, um, you know, my chats with my business buddies and now within the community is that like, you know, I show up, I'm accepted and seen for however I am and that just, and somebody else will say to me, it's like, oh, God, now I, you know, that gives me the feeling like I can just, you know, tell you the, the truth for what's happening with me as well. So, and it's just such a relief to be honest such a relief oh yeah uh right so the other question i had for you just pulling it out of my brain here um was um so who who do you think this community the joy jam collective is perfect for Mm. well my language would be uh, women who are here to make a difference the movers and the shakers of the world people want to really make an impact in, in whether it's you know small or large um Women who are wanting to do things a bit differently, mm-hmm. who aren't just in it for themselves, who are getting that call that may, together we are more powerful, um, co-creating, not just needing to be, you know, the lone wolf in business, um, and looking to do things a little bit differently. I think we get that feeling, don't we? Like maybe something's not working, like the way you've been working isn't working, and you're looking for something new, a fresh approach. And also, you know, you... Like, obviously, we don't have to be happy all the time, but it's bringing that kind of positive energy, uh, the energy of support and working, you know, working together, coming together for the greatest good of all. (laughs) 
beautifully put, actually, yes, because that's the other um, piece behind it is, you know, we all want to, we're all here to serve in some way, you know, as you say, and serve the greater good. So it's like how do we support each other? You know, and I believe community can really do that for us. How do we support each other to to have that bigger impact? Um, you know, what does that look like? And people who are on this, who actually have that same vision, because sometimes the taps that I've had, you know, if you're having a difficult um, conversation with a client, you know, it's just like, well, how do I, it's like you know, some of that specifics of like, well, right, what do I, how do I say so that I feel an integrity, I'm being really open, I'm respecting myself and them as well, you know, and walking that line. Sometimes we need people to bounce the ideas off in order to, you know, to continually be that person because we don't necessarily always know how to. Absolutely. And with people that are experienced in that area, you know, not necessarily like our families or our friends may not really have that particular experience. So these are women who know they've been there. They've they've got, you know, experience with those particular challenges as well. And that's invaluable. 100%, 100%. And um, the other thing I just want to comment on is the, the joy vibe because – and I've, I've, I've been sharing about this because it's so important that I really want, um, you know, women like us to actually enjoy the, the journey on a day-to-day basis. And I truly believe that when you enjoy the journey, like you talked about, it magic happens. It enhances your experience of business, what you can create, how you feel about what you're creating, how you feel about yourself. Like it is like joy is magic. You know, it's amazing. Um, so... And I also believe as conscious entrepreneurs, we're actually supposed to enjoy the bloody journey. <laughs> oh, oh. I know. <laughs> Crazy idea, I know. But, <laughs> but, you know, and I really believe that. So that is definitely a fundamental principle of uh, the women that I'm gathering and the way that I'm trying to shape this community. Um, and the other thing to say is one of the reasons I'm excited for the women who've already joined is uh, this is going to be collaborative. You know, to, we're going to shape this together. So I see myself as the, the facilitator, the holder of the space um, and, uh, you know, the head joy lady, of course, head joy lady. Uh, <laughs> but it is it is a, going to be a collaborative experience. You know, I'll be asking, like, you know, what do you want in there? And, um, you know, the, the idea, I've come with plenty of ideas, don't lack for those, but I'll be asking you, like, do you want this? Like, you know, do you want it differently? So it's going to be an incredibly collaborative uh, experience because that's actually how we create the best thing. So I'm excited. That's awesome, <laughs> that's awesome girl. Yes. Woo! Yeehaw. <laughs> right. Um, I think that's all my questions, my lovely. I really appreciate you coming on and just sharing your experience of you know, what I've been creating and, and how you're feeling about what's coming up. So thank you so much. Is there anything else that you wanted to share before we wrap this little ditty up? Well, I guess I want to know, like, is it how, if people want to find out more about the Joy Jam Collective, how how do they go about finding out, babe? That's so, really an excellent question. If they're feeling like they can play with us. <laughs> oh, great, great question. Thank you for asking. <laughs> oh, I got that part. Yes, so the Joy Jam Collective uh, membership community for conscious women in business opened yesterday. Doors opened yesterday. Woo! Exciting. Uh, and so if you want to find out more, I'll put a I'll put a post below this video wherever it shows up on Facebook. Uh, but you can head over to linhord.com forward slash the collective. So all the information is on there about um, what it will look like. There's going to be an online community hub. We'll have the in-person networking. We're going to have some online um, networking for people who can't make it in person. Um, there's going to be fun Fridays, which is where we'll gather for adventures in London once a quarter. I'm super excited about those. I've got all kinds of ideas. Uh, but, again, you'll get to vote on those. Um, so that's once a quarter. We'll have brainstorming sessions so that you can tap into the collective wisdom of all of the women, uh, the experienced, talented women in business that are going to be in the group. So I'm super excited about that. Um, and I'm sure there's something else which I can't remember right now. But it's all over on that that web uh, over on that web page, um, linhord.com forward slash the collective. And just to um, because right at the very beginning, Lara shared about the, the qualities or the values and she basically touched on all of five of them that I'm looking to create. I, how I want you to feel, my intention for how I want you to feel in the community. 
um, and that's inspired, connected, um, nourished, you know, feeling like you've got real community and delighted. You're delighted by this entrepreneurial journey and how much fun you can have with creating your life and business exactly as you want it. So that's really it in a nutshell, but all of the details are over on the website, which I'll put down the link in the comments below. And last piece to know is that doors close on Thursday night, so Thursday the 28th at 10 p.m. So if you do want to join on in, um, make sure you check it out before then and you, jo and you join. And, you know, it's really super, um, super affordable. So the, if you just want to join month by month, it's only £25 a month. So it really is affordable, um, but there is an extra special deal in there as well. But if you go over to the page, you'll be able to check it out. <laughs> So thanks for asking that question. I knew there was something I'd forgotten to share. Pleasure. So, yeah, pleasure. It's very Australian of you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, thanks for joining me, lovely Lara. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. And just to say, if you are a conscious woman in business, you're looking for more community, you know, more nourishment, more women to help, you know, raise you up and actually help you have that bigger impact, please do come and check out the Joy Jam Collective. Right, that's us done. Thank you so much for uh, listening in or watching in and um, we will see you hopefully inside the Joy Jam Collective. Thank you, Lara. I'll see you soon. Bye, my darling. Bye.